See Joe and Debbie Paris at Badcock Home Furniture and more located on Maker Street and Walnut Street in downtown Jessup. Local news on WIFO. News in the news, the Wayne County Board of Education met Tuesday for the regularly scheduled board meeting. Topic is band and charter schools highlighted the agenda. We begin with the high school band program, which is currently searching for a new band director and the school system not having any trouble seeking candidates. As report Tuesday is that they've received interest from 19 applicants, two within the Wayne County school system, 17 from outside the system. Here was the update from school superintendent Jay Brinson at the Tuesday meeting. The Widener's decided to, uh, you know, he's taking another position at the high school for next year. Uh, I've already begun kind of planning that transition. Uh, so we, we need a band director. All right, so we've opened up the job, basically like we do all any job we have open. Um, and I, we're pretty close to the 10-day or the two-week uh, advertising uh, period being over with. Mr. Adams met with uh, the current band staff that's left just to kind of make sure things were in order for uh, coming up tryouts. We've got a spring concert, I believe, just to make sure the last few things of, of the year are taken care of. He met with them yesterday. Um, He's also in the process of kind of forming a, a committee of, of two or three individuals from, I mean, from the system, from the uh, community to kind of help him, uh, you know, have a search committee, work through the, work through the applications, uh, kind of like we, did, we just did with the football coach AD. Uh, their first meeting is planned for uh, be Thursday, be this Thursday, this March 30th. Is that correct? This Thursday, Thursday. Right, this Thursday, March, March Thursday at 5 30, have their first meeting. Um, they're looking to kind of meet again during spring break, so that'd be next Monday, April 3rd, is, is what they're shooting for to kind of finalize um, the interview list as far as who they want to interview with the committee. And then Friday of spring break, so it'd be not this Friday, but next Friday, the 7th, uh, hold interviews and, and hopefully maybe have a recommendation to come to you with on the 11th. That's kind of our time plan. We've mapped out. serving on the community committee? Um, we haven't finalized yet, and I hate to say that out in public crap, right? Okay. So we got some commitments because we, we asked, I think, a third person that, you know, was not able to serve. So let me get that finalized at the list, and I'll get to you if that's all right. Well, the reason why uh, I asked for it to be put on the agenda is because I was approached by a, uh, a booster club member for the band, and uh, their concern was what you've answered some of those questions was what was the timeline as far as hiring. Um, they were also concerned about uh, how the auxiliaries and the trials were going to be carried on, and uh, which I told them I couldn't, I couldn't answer those questions for them. But one of the concerns they had, they felt as though that the individual, whoever the person is uh, selected as the band director, that that person should be the individual who decides who their section leaders are going to be. You know, and that type of thing. Now, if you've got people who are already still the auxiliary um, uh, in auxiliary positions as auxiliary leaders, of course, they can still, you know, um, do their trials the way they always have. But as far as that, those section leaders, uh, the individual felt as though that the band director should be the one to do that. Superintendent Jay Brinson agreed that the new band director needs to be in charge of selecting the heads of the auxiliaries, but the current staff can handle the spring concert and other day-to-day -day activities. Superintendent says they have to have a recommendation of a new band director in front of the board at their April 11th meeting. Personnel approved Tuesday at the board meeting. A lot of personnel approved certified recommendations. Lauren Amos, Wayne County High School. Ryan Bailey, Martha Puckett Middle School. Christine Barrett, Martha Rawls Smith Elementary School. Amy Blanton, Wayne County High School. Jesse Davis, Odom Elementary. Vicki Drisopoulos, Wayne County High School. Amy Ellis, Wayne County High School. Jessica Graham, Martha Puckett Middle School. Sherry Green, Martha Puckett Middle School. Jessica Johnson, Arthur Williams Middle School. Skylar Kersey, Martha Puckett Middle School. April Lee, Martha Puckett Middle School, Chelsea Lee, Martha Puckett Middle School, Caitlin Miller, Martha Ross Smith Elementary School, Tiffany Moriarty, Martha Ross Smith Elementary School, Melissa O'Connor, Arthur Williams Middle School, Janice Robertson, Martha Puckett Middle School, Chandler Spillman, Martha Ross Smith Elementary, Richard Walker, Wayne County High School, one of your new football coaches coming from Colquitt County, Terrence Ward, Wayne County High School, Angela Howard Watson, Arthur Williams Middle School, and Chantel Webb, Wayne County High School. Certified resignations, Andrew Carroll, Martha Ross Smith Elementary, Renee Helms, Martha Ross Smith Elementary, Troy Hope, Wayne County High School. Certified transfers, Tori Carroll, Wayne County High School to Martha Ross Smith Elementary, Laura Gregory, Wayne County High School to Martha Puck Middle School, 
Judith Keith, Jessup Elementary to Martha Rawls Smith Elementary, Betty Stanton, Jessup Elementary to Martha Rawls Smith Elementary, one classified resignation, Don Zuma, Martha Puckett Middle School, and classified transfer to Luella Norwood, Jessup Elementary to Martha Rawls Smith Elementary. Also on Tuesday, a discussion of the Coastal Plains Charter High School in Wayne County. We'll come back and hear that discussion after these commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Communication is the key when it comes to business, especially your financial business. That's why Altamaha Federal Credit Union makes communication a priority, making banking easier for you. AFCU has money to lend, and it's easy to apply online or with a quick phone call. Your local credit union with open lines of communication. Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Scriven, and Ludowisi. Visit Altamaha.org. Equal housing lender, federally insured by NCUA. A lot of dealers talk about saving you money. But at Paul Thigpen Chevy Buick GMC, we not only talk the talk, we walk the walk. Who else is going to give you up to 10 grand off Chevy trucks? Nobody. That's who. What else you got, Paul? And I'm ready to go to work for you. I got it all, brother. Silverados with 0% financing for 60 months and $5,500 in rebates. You mean zero for 60 or rebates of 5,500? Mm, mm. No, son. I mean, and you get the money and the honey. And check this out. $4,500 on Suburbans and Tahoes and $5,500 on Silverados and that's with zero percent interest rate. Who's gonna beat these deals? Nobody, brother. And I mean nobody. Listen here, folks. I wouldn't waste your time on mine. Y'all come on down. Let's do some biz. Everybody else is. Find new roads at Paul Thigpen Chevy Buick GMC in Vidalia and PaulThigpenChevy.com. Some exclusions apply. See dealer for details. Offer ends March 31st. The helpful folks at Harris Ace Hardware says thank you for choosing them as your favorite place to buy hardware and building materials. At Harris Ace Hardware, they've got what you need to get any project done. You'll find great deals on everything to paint a room, clean your home, or take care of your yard. And lumber and building supplies from everything to build a new home to a doghouse. Harris Ace has the names you trust like Clark and Kensington, Craftsman and Scott's, Yeti Coolers, and the helpful advice you need to tackle any task. For the people and brands you can trust, shop at Harris Ace Hardware. Wayne County Board of Education and School Superintendent Jay Brinson continue to look into the possibility of a charter high school in Wayne County. Again, nothing definite as the board's still in the gathering of information stage, but the superintendent says the decision needs to be made quickly as time is running out for the school to be implemented in Wayne County. Similar school began in January in Glen County, and the purpose is to give kids a second chance to high school diploma rather than a GED. School board member Janet Royal is on board with the idea of a charter school. If we have the, the opportunity, the possibility, and the potential to have people who were high school dropouts be diploma holders, I think that's worth the risk. I don't think I don't see it as a risk. I mean, we are the financial agent for how many? the Wayne County Library. We're the physical agent for the Wayne County Library. Wayne, family connection. <coughs> and, 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 you know, Ms. Williams is going to do the right thing. But I, when you look at a contract, you can always find something wrong with the contract, I suppose. But I'm not an attorney to give you a, an opinion on that. But I do believe in the, um, the purpose of the charter school. And any time that we can help someone achieve financial independence that will come with a high school diploma, I think we need to step up to the plate and put that into place. Once again, no decisions made Tuesday, but here was the Superintendent Jay Brinson asking where the board stands on the issue as the timeline on the final decision is quickly approaching. Um, I just want to make sure we're moving forward. If we're not moving forward, then um, I need to pull back um, some of our plans because it is, we're having to coordinate a, a lot of different things. And it is a budget item as well because there's a little bit of money on the front end that we talked about that, that would be an investment um, that would be paid back at the end of the uh, fiscal year. But we're having to coordinate if we're going to use the Thomas P. James building, we're going to have to move some personnel out, um, get, try to get them over to Martha Ross Smith. Some, some renovations need to be, begin there if we continue to move the board office over there, which is the direction. We're headed unless, unless it's changing. So I just kind of need to know if you have any qu specific questions. Uh, I know Mr. Sutton's <coughs> here, and I certainly don't want to. Um, I think it's coming late, so we might can. Uh, I don't know. I don't think you want to move it down, but I mean, we can continue the conversation at the end. I just kind of want to do a check to see where we are. I know there's been some 
some further questions. So I want to get you all the information that you need to make a decision. I was a little concerned after going uh, back through the document that was sent to us. Uh, it leaves a lot of leeway in uh, one of the statements <coughs> where it uh, talks about our responsibilities. And it states that uh, it is not limited to the things that the people, that, you know, uh, that the groups that are going to be in agreement with uh, this process or this charter school. And anytime you say um, that we're responsible for certain needs but it's not limited to, that just opens up the world. I mean, that means that they can come in and say, hey, look, we need another $200,000 and you said that you agreed to uh, uh, whatever we needed because it's not limited to that. So that is one of my biggest concerns with that. Um, there was something else in there. Uh, oh, yeah, it also states and talks about, because, see, I thought that we were pretty much totally disconnected from it. But it also talks about the fact that there will be a superintendent uh, from one of the schools who will be act on the board as well. And so we're all going to be some way in some uh, fashion intertwined with this school. Um, it's, it's just too ambiguous to me. It's just very ambiguous. And I also would uh, like some uh, data on how successful it actually has been and how many people have gone through this program and actually have graduated from this program. I prefer Wayne County not being the guinea pig in it. Uh, one of the things that I feel like that we've done a lot of over the, over the years is that when a new program has come out, we've always jumped on that new program without really true data to support that program. And then when it falls apart, then it's, you know, we're the guinea pigs. The board states they simply need to see the final contract and then they'll let their attorneys look it over. Superintendent Jay Brinson says that will definitely be part of the process. We're going to let our legal folks sit before we sign anything. Um, this, the signatures are just I mean, Mr. Ellis, if, if that's the way we're going, he signs it. But I want you to review it, and if there's any questions, we need to get them answered. The, the part where I see, uh, that I see, I don't know if this is the one that you're, you're referring to, um, where it says, um, provided will include but are not necessarily limited to, that, that is in reference to this is really not, the idea is not for it to be a money maker for our system. It's really for it to just provide opportunities in our system for our kids that have, that have dropped out or uh, the, the regular high school experience doesn't fit them. But at the same time, it shouldn't be a burden either. You know? So what that's, that's $60,000 we get per year. Okay, as long as the money is there, that's what we will get at the end of the year. Um, eventually, that kind of pays for itself. So you'll have money to spend. But, you know, that includes your resource officer and any improvements that we feel like we need to make. Um, keep in mind that during the day, it's our building. Anything in it, we can use. Um, Chromebook carts, is, you know, we have laptops and uh, we roll those out. It's pretty easy to roll them right across you know, the street to, to James E. Bacon if we have a need for them or if we need to use the building during the day, we certainly can. It's still our building. Um, basically, they're leasing it from us. Now, that's, that does include, I did find out, that includes everything. Any, you know, electricity, water, so we don't have to worry about that. That's, that's still on our bill, but that's $60,000 they're giving us annually is, is for that. Once again, no final decision made on the Charter High School on Tuesday. WI Phil Vim continue to follow the story as it develops. Board member Mitch Sutton states he's concerned about the number of students needed to make the school work. Doesn't want to give students the idea that they can drop out of high school and then attend the charter school. And he wanted to be certain the charter school won't be recruiting high school students at Wayne County High School. Again, most of the board members believe it's a low risk, high reward again to give students a second chance at a high school diploma. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. Communication is the key when it comes to business, especially your financial business. That's why Altamaha Federal Credit Union makes communication a priority, making banking easier for you. AFCU has money to lend, and it's easy to apply online or with a quick phone call. Your local credit union with open lines of communication. Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Scriven, and Ludowisi. Visit altamaha.org. Equal housing lender, federally insured by NCUA. 
Tax season is here, and this month you can double your down payment from $300 to $1,500 on used vehicles at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC and Jessup. Turn $1,500 into $3,000 down instantly on your favorite used vehicle only at Neesmith. Plus, all remaining new 2016 vehicles are priced below dealer cost at Neesmith Chevrolet and Jessup. Get 0% financing on all 2017 Silverado trucks, Tahoes, and Suburbans and Chevrolet Traverse now at Neesmith. Neesmith also has 20% off the MSRP on select new 2017s in stock right now. If you want the best deal, period, come to Neesmith. Hurry in today and save thousands plus double your down payment instantly on used vehicles this month at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC on Highway 341 South in Jessup. Get more bang for your buck at Neesmith and at NeesmithJessup.com. Buy new roads plus tax, tag, and title and license. All incentives applied. Financing to qualified buyers with approved credit. Morton Collision is located at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton's offers free estimates, 23-hour towing, and they guarantee their work. Call 427-3769 or after hours, 912-294-6140. The staff at Morton Collision Center works with all insurance companies. So for guaranteed work with a qualified staff, go to Morton Collision at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton Collision, quality you can see. Final notes in the news. Don't forget the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce is ribbon cutting today at Sonic's restaurant again it takes place today at 3 p.m come check out the amazing renovations of one thousand dollars in door prize we'll be giving away free ice cream cones from 3 to 5 p.m for the kids today enjoy family fun including bound sizes face painting and games again that's today at three o'clock at the sonics restaurant wayne county commissioners have their agenda for monday april 3rd on the agenda under presentation announcements jennifer disrud regarding nationwide 457 plan review under citizen concerns randy heron and others to discuss with commissioners regarding putting emergency lights on personal vehicles on the Anderson Drive Fire Department. Other public meetings under public meetings consider improved beer and wine license for Parker. It's also consider improved special event beer and wine license for Heavenly Acres for concert and rodeo. Under consent agenda, consider improved proclamation for Nate for National Donate Life Month. Under appointments, Department of Behavior, Health and Developmental Disabilities Region 5 member and Land Management Committee District 1 member again also they're going to discuss their meeting in may also an executive session on the agenda for monday april 3rd finally in the news motorists traveling this weekend or the next two weekends for spring break and easter weekend should find their trips less stressful thanks to the restriction of con construction related lane closure statewide on interstate highways to accommodate spring break traffic the georgia dot will limit lane closures on interstate highways throughout the state from noon friday march 31st until 10 p.m sunday april 2nd the following weekend georgia dot will also limit lane closures on all interstates from noon friday april 7th to 10 p.m sunday april the 9th in addition easter weekend georgia dot will limit lane closures on interstates and roadways near major tourist attractions shopping centers malls and shopping districts from 11 p.m friday april 14th to 11 p.m monday april the 16th that's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morganson, have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. Ford Motor Company's annual President's Award is given to only a few dealers. Those with the very highest customer satisfaction survey results. And you voted us in. Thank you to all our friends and customers in South Georgia and North Florida. We honored to win the President's Award because it reflects your...